What we are now seeing is only the first step. We hope to give you money to buy machines that we will sell to you at commercial price. So from that first step into that long chain is many, many miles. And we are now only seeing the beginning of that in the technology mechanism. So there are many uh, crisis points that Durban is facing. I doubt that we will be able to solve all these crisis points. But let us not degenerate from the crisis of Copenhagen to the half revival, but half crisis, and maybe full crisis of Cancun, depending on how you view it. Some of you will view it as a half recovery. Some will view it as a total defeat and worse than Copenhagen. Some will see it as a building block to salvation in Durban, perhaps because Cancun did not kill Kyoto. It kept it alive for one more year so that the final decision will be made here in Durban. Well, Durban is here. This is the last moment, the crunch time. And the regime is at stake. Perhaps after Durban, we will not have a regime. We will float for a few years. Perhaps after Durban, we promise to have a new regime. But that new regime may be better or worse than the present half regime that we now have. So these are, I'm afraid, some of the complex issues that we are facing in Durban. There are no clear-cut solutions. There are more questions and solutions. Uh, but I hope that this forum will ask the proper questions, which is a first step to either a solution or a non-solution, but it will clear some confusions in our mind. Thank you very much.